You've heard the saying, if these walls could talk. Well, the side of one building is indeed telling the story of Chilton's history. It's a look back at the past using real historical photos to create a 21st century public piece of art. Stacey Engerbrenses takes us there. This mural is taking shape on the side of an old building at 40 West Main Street in downtown Chilton. The artist is from that city and wants to honor those who shaped it into what it is today. So it's a 75 year tour, mid 1800s, and I'd say we end the image right at the end of World War I. This 58 by 35 foot mural is a snapshot of Chilton's rich history. Created by Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design professor James Barani, who grew up in Chilton. It's the whole tipping of the hat and the acknowledgement of all of the people who have preceded us. The most prominent image, Catherine Stanton. She's the matriarch of our town. She was critical because she was a conduit between the Ho-Chunk and the Menominee who were living here and the massive wave of Europeans that were coming after. So she helped settle the entire community. The grist mill the Stantons built is also featured, along with a nod to agriculture and a salute to service. We have General Hobart and um, another commander who is breed. Behind them, dozens of other local veterans who survived the Civil War. They came back to our hometown and they stood semicircle and they had a huge panoramic image taken of them. Other notable images, the old Hotel Chilton, St. Mary's Parish, and the former State Street Bridge. This massive mural is creating a buzz. I'm hoping that uh, that discussion turns into more interest in local history. People that stop by and ask like, what are you painting? What is that? And then being able to explain it, I think that's the best part. Olivia Bonlander is also a Chilton native. She's one of five college interns chosen to work on this project. I've learned so much, just the mural making process really, there's so much involved. The students are using a grid system. This goes all the way back to the Italian Renaissance. Painting square by square. It's a labor of love. <laughs> Barani estimates 1,500 hours of work researching, designing, and painting the mural in five layers. So these murals will last for 20, 30 years before they even start to fade. Barani says this magnificent piece of art is possible thanks to more than $40,000 in grants awarded by the Wisconsin Arts Board, the Calumet County Historical Society, the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region's Bright Idea Fund, and the Chilton Area Community Foundation. Helping the arts uh, is important, especially because there's limited tax dollars for that. Barani oh appreciates the support to create this gift to his hometown so everyone can celebrate its diverse history. This helps us understand where we were, who we are, who maybe we're becoming. Barani says the mural should be complete in about two weeks. Stacy Angabretson, NBC 26. Well, after the Chilton mural, the artist will move on to Stockbridge for phase two of the Calumet County Mural Initiative. That mural at 101 South Military Street should be complete in October. For more information on both projects, which includes an educational component in local schools, go to NBC26.com.